In 2001, the New York Observer published an article entitled Mick Jagger, Our Most Underrated Songwriter. In the article, Ron Rosenbaum calls him a writer of brilliant, soulful, soaring anthems, hymns to broken hearts, broken spirits and fragmented hopes of redemption. Although Mick has never struck chart-topping gold with his solo efforts, his prolific output over the years has confirmed his place in history as a prodigious writing talent. And he's never happier than when he's on a major songwriting role. On the back of coming up with new tunes for the Rolling Stones' Bigger Bang album, he got to work on the soundtrack of the remake of the 2004 comedy Alfie. The film was a remake of the 1966 classic of the same name, about a cockney womanizer who learns the hard way about the dangers of his actions. The film originally starred Michael Caine as Alfie, but the remake sees Jude Law in the title role, along with Susan Sarandon and Marissa Tomei. There's Alfie in every woman, every man too. Um, no, I think, you know, Alfie's this young, attractive man, you know, and, and, and you think, I think the whole idea at the beginning of the picture is that, you know, he's, why shouldn't he have lots of girlfriends? It seems perfectly natural that he would because they're all throwing themselves at him. But then, and then it's quite amusing how he deals with them and so on because it's only a bit later on that you get, when, you, when that draws you into the picture that you feel then you see the problems that that creates and so on. Known to indulge in his own fair share of womanising, Mick disagreed that there were strong similarities between him and Alfie's character. He is a guy that has a lot of girlfriends, lots of love affairs, but he doesn't have much else going on. I mean, he doesn't have, uh, you know, he drives a car, he's has a very repetitive job, doesn't really have any interest in anything else. He's not interested in anything as far as I can work out in the picture except seducing more women. <laughs> the difference, of course, is that aside from seducing plenty of women, Mick has lots going on for him. Like Keith Richards, Jagger had no formal musical training and taught himself how to play keyboards and guitar. He studied for a degree in accounting and finance with a minor in physical education, but dropped out after the first year to pursue a musical career. However, the grounding in business and accounting certainly did not go to waste, as Mick's personal fortune has been valued at around £215 million, pounds, or $425 million. Alfie was not the first movie that Mick has been involved in musically. He composed an improvised soundtrack for Kenneth Anger's film Invocation of My Demon Brother on the Moog synthesizer in 1969, and set up his own production company in 1995 called Jagged Productions with Victoria Pierman. For the Alfie soundtrack, Mick teamed up with Eurythmics co-founder Dave Stewart to write and perform 13 songs for the film, including the haunting Old Habits Die Hard, which was released by Virgin Records as the first single from the soundtrack CD. <laughs> So, four decades into his musical career, does he still get a buzz when releasing new material? Well, you know, you're always pleased with what you do, you know, as well, you wouldn't do it, you know, and you... So you get, you know, you do get kind of a... When you've been working on something and then no, no one's really heard it, then it's kind of fun that, to play it to other people and you get excited and you want to know kind of quietly how they think about it, you know. So what do you think? <laughs> no, you know what I mean? That's what you ask your friends. At 61, Mick is happiest when he immerses himself in writing and producing records. Yeah, but the first thing we have is um, we have a live CD coming out for, in November, which is two live uh, CDs, which is pretty interesting because one is, one is uh, unknown songs, you know, that have never been out live before, and the other CD is well-known tunes. And then the other thing is what we... I've been writing new songs for the Rolling Stones' next album, so what is that we're going to get. Out? Well, I, that won't be out till we just started, so I I wouldn't think that would be out till sometime next year. But we, we'll start recording it in November. Despite the heavy schedule, he still likes to keep things simple in the studio. I know I would make a relatively simple album, not too sprawling and quite concentrated. But I don't really know much more than that. That's my idea. They don't always work like that, but. No, it should be good, and I've been writing you know, for the last month for that. The Alfie soundtrack also features performances by Sheryl Crow and Joss Stone. Yeah.